Goats back in my garage. I was going to play Slavarian Trucker today because I haven't played it in like just like I just looked at my stats. I haven't played it in about a year and I was like, I might want to play that. But I decided this because I didn't want to install a whole new game. But uh, we might get back to that at some point here in the near future. Um, I'm about to sneeze. Yeah. Okay. Just stop, please. Okay. We need to make money, but we don't have uh, a lot of money. So we're going to, ooh. We're going to, ooh, come here, pick this up. There we go. We got it around the back. Um, we need to make a few bucks, but it's the middle of the night from the looks of things. Um, so we're going to have to re reset today by sleeping on our couch. Um, it'd be nice if we had a house to go back to that had a bed in it, I guess, but we, I think we do technically. Ah, there we go. Now let's see. What kind of jobs? Skip, skip. I need something with rust, to be honest. It's just... I don't have any money, and I probably have enough for paint. Let's see. Something's wrong with the shifting. The wires are bad. Hoses are bad. Pistons are bad. Can you fix this? This might actually be good because uh, it gives a few extra bucks for paint. So you got a rusty panel, do you? Do you, bud? Oh, there you go. I can see it right there, bud. Okay, let's get the, uh, where's the, where's the, ooh, there's the grinderoo. There it is. Okay, get this. Wait a minute, is there rust inside this door? No. Well, no, it should only be one panel. Come here, you. What the? Get. Dude. Excellent. Okay. What is happening here? Okay, well, you know what? Never mind. Okay, now we're going to just... That was easy. Okay, what's the, <laughs> what's the paint color? 68F485. 68F485. This is going to be fun. We're going to grab this. 68F485. Where is it? Uh, color. Uh... 68F485. Okay, I took my glasses off and now I can't see. Okay, here we go. Where'd I put them? They're over here somewhere. Okay, I'll get them in a second. All right, let's just uh, touch that up and uh, we should be. Uh, sh I guess we're good. Okay, excellent. That was a big waste of 20 bucks for this. But I'll keep this paint. I like the, I like the color of this paint. Just, you know what, actually? Is it the same color as that? Not quite. There's some nice colors here, actually. Okay, well, let's see. You're you're empty. Dude, pick up. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. I keep, just, open the, okay, just open up, please. I keep forgetting to open the doors. All right, get out of here. All right, now. We need money. We need money for a gas tank and a radiator and radiator hoses and oil and whatever and blah, 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 and a new axle. Because we had one bad act. Oh, can you fix the rust? Ooh, let's see. What do we got? 1900 bucks. Oh, geez. Look at that. Look how bad this one is. Ugh. I just, I like it when there isn't rust on the rockers. That, that is my favorite. Rocker rust is the friggin' worst because you get. Okay, this one isn't so bad because the rocker doesn't extend underneath like a lot of the cars do. All right, let's see here. Now, there's a lot of rust on the upper part of the panel here. You can see it little spots. Now, I hate doing rust repair in real life. It is ridiculous, and I hate it. But it's not that hard. It's just very, very time-consuming. And honestly, if I was going to do all this work to prep it and prime it and everything else, I think I would just... Replace the whole panel. I think that would be... If I'm going to have to prime it and everything anyway. All right, let me see here. Get that. That can come off. What? Oh, there's some on the lip here, isn't there? I got rid of that. All right, here we go. I hate this. Because I just know it's going to fail miserably. <laughs> like, I know it. You know it. Then I'll get mad. And then today's mental health tip of the day is going to be why you shouldn't get mad. And. 
And that's cleared off. Okay, we, we have to remove that to get the rest of the rust off of it. Because it didn't show me, like, it didn't just disappear suddenly like it normally does. Sometimes it's like... Underneath or behind, but can't tell with this one. Let's see. Now, I saw rust on the inside of this door here. Didn't I? Yeah, right on this door. We have to take care of that. What about inside here? Nope. No, oh, here we here it is. This is what I saw. There we go. Come on, baby. I don't like this new it's inside the vehicle business. I guess it's more realistic. Like if you ever live, if you live in the salt belt in North America, you know full well how bad salt can get and like rot your floors out and whatnot. Yeah, we may have to tackle this from a bit of a different direction. Let's see here. Open you up, please. Oh God, whoops, <laughs> whoopsie. <laughs> okay, well that was a mistake. I think that's just the inner panel, I think, is, I think this inner panel, like, pops out. So maybe we can get, uh, the grinding, do we have any grinding discs left? Where, okay, did we use them all last time? Okay, we may have, we may have used all the grinding discs, so. Let's go buy more. Oh, jeez, my nose is running. You ever get that? Ugh, it's ridiculous. Give me this. Oh, here we go. Ah, perfect. Thank you. Now, where's my grinder? Okay, here we go. Boob a boob. Take that off and then take one of you out and then stick you on there like that. There we go. I think we can. I think we could delaminate this pretty easy. So I think it's that, that, and then this. And I think there may be one over here. Maybe that one right there. But it's the inner structure I want. Oh, is it that too? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? No, it didn't just just didn't want to come off there. I thought this had a the inner structure would come out of these. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought I thought it was Okay, let's take the seat out cuz it's definitely in the way. Yeah, this is going to be the whole episode of me working on this piece of shit. All right, where's my... There it is. Okay, let's see here. Grab this. And uh, let's have at it here. Let's see, get you. There we go. And then you. There we are. Out comes the seat. That should make it a bit easier to see what I've missed. I, maybe I'm, oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, excellent. Now with this out, this should be a bit easier to work with. Ugh, where's my, oh, there it is. Where's the, okay, yeah. Look, we ran out of discs at the right at the right time. Oh, God, it almost be worth to buy a new panel, but I can't afford a new panel, so... Yeah, let's put this like this. Oh, there we go. Clean it up. Now, we're going to have to pull out the other panel because I saw some rust on it too. But at least uh, it's not too bad to get out. Okay. What happened? Oh, there we go. 
So what happened to the piece? Oh, it stayed on. Nice. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see. We take that. We'll take that. 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 This. Did that do it? No. Which one did we miss? Oh yeah, there's this. And is there an inside one here? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Not that. Is it that? Well, there it is. Okay, nice. Perfect. Come here. Hey, why can't I grab you? <laughs> Just get off. I'm busy. Okay, here we go. We're going to grab this. We're going to take this little disc, disky disc off, and we're going to put this here. We're going to need so much welding wire to fix all this. All right. And off you come. All the rest. Perfect. Okay. Now, how are you doing for rust right now, bud? Okay, rust is at a four. Uh, I am. Is that rust right there? <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, I see it. I see the rust. I'm going to get that rust. Okay, where is it? Because this job pays quite a bit. And if we get enough, we may be able to get the Jesse, Jesse running today. How are you doing now? Rust is good. Okay. Uh, we should probably get this paint color. What paint color is this? 2D4 AF 2D4 AF9. Let's see. 2D4 AF9. That's a blue. Like I said, we don't got a ton of money to do this job. So we can pull this off with just minimal amount of money being used. We're basically gods amongst men. All right, here we go. What's this? Oh, nice. Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, paint this. Paint this. That's good. That's good. Okay, yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Looks good. Looks good. How are we doing? Can we put you back in now? Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, so we need our welder. And we got to put the weld. We got, we got some welding stick here, but we're going to need more. But it doesn't really matter. Because we have more in the garage. All right, so let me see. Bam. There's going to be some welding points that I undid by accident, such as that one. That one's right, that one's right. Oh yeah, we're gonna need more welding rods. Okay, let me see here. I might as well just bring the box out because I think I'm gonna need at least two at a minimum. Oh no, my nose is itchy now. What is wrong with my nose right now? It's running, I just about sneeze, it's itchy. I'm not sick. Well, I just don't think I am. I don't feel sick. Okay, let me see. It's got to be allergies. I was rubbing the dog really hard. You know what I mean? And then it like explosion of dog hair everywhere. Ugh. There's one. Okay, Ooh, there's one. There's one. I don't think I, I, I don't think, I, oh, did I get this one over here? Yeah, I think, I think that's most of it. I think that's all of it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. One at the back there. I saw it. Got it. Okay, I think that's all of them. Now, this is looking better. Bam, you can go in. Where's my little weldery roo? Okay, there we go. Lord Weldington. All right. Ugh. I think we're going to need... I think we're going to need another one. Let me see. It's so hard to grab these sometimes. All right. I've just started getting used to my new mouse. It takes me a while. I'm a, I'm a creature of habit, and I hate that about myself. Okay, there we go. There's that. Oh, this one here. Did we get that one over there? Yeah, we did. We gotta get that little one. Did we get that little one over there? Oh, yes, we did. Oh, dude. Okay, dude I just want to look inside your walls. Okay, just relax. All right, let me see. Okay, I don't like this. It's freaking me out. Freaking me out. Okay. Oh, no, you can't have that. I need that back. All right, so how we doing? Rust is good. Color condition is not, but we know that because we haven't painted the whole car yet. Now, where to put that paint? Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Give me this. We're going to have to paint that up. Perfect. That's better. Oh, God, this is going swelly. 
Swelly, swelly, swelly. All right, here we go. That's there. So I've been playing The Forest on stream. The Forest, Sons of the Forest, I should say. Boy, what a what a great game. Like, it is, it is a, it's fun. Uh, cannibals are a little scary, but, you know, I think that's true about most cannibals. I don't think I'd ever run into a set of cannibals that I wouldn't be a little bit afraid of. But you know what? Like I don't know. Let's let's have a let's have a poll. Like, are you or would you be afraid to run into cannibals? You know, because <laughs> because I feel like I would be afraid to run into cannibals. Even if I had a weapon, I'd be afraid because I figure it's not it's not very often to run into one cannibal. You know, most cannibals are like tribal, and and you know, oh, some parts are still missing. Yeah, you get need your you need your seat back. I just want to see if the rust and everything was still looking good. All right, here we go. And this can go in. Oh, okay, sweet. Let's look right through the seat. Titan. Titan. I'm a titan of industry. There we go. How's that? You like that, baby? Let me see. Yes. Yes. We made money for once. And it didn't screw me. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, let me see. We got the drive shaft in last time, right? In the transmission? Yeah, we did. Oh. This is a beautiful situation to be in. Okay. Now, this is the axle that was shoddy, right? Yeah, we're going to have to jack that up or something, but I don't want to do that over the pit. Dude. Oh, God, it's rolling away. Well, well, just do anything. So, we also got to replace the pedals with three pedals. Uh... I just put them in there so they weren't floating around. So let's see. We need the Jesse. Uh, we need uh, the V8, I guess. Yeah, okay. It would better brakes, would it? Where did they put the pedal? Oh, here's pedal assembly. There's three pedals right there. We're going to need this because we do are running a stick shift. All right, so we're going to take the old pedals out. Oh. Oh, no. This game makes me nervous sometimes. Okay, perfect. Oh, oh God, I'm under the car. Okay. <laughs> just, it's so easy to make a mistake in this game and damage the car. Okay, why, why would you tighten up? I'm on tight mode, right? Yeah. Oh, I just wasn't quite close enough. All right, cool. Oh, here's the pedals. All right, we'll sell these off because we can. Perfect. Okay, so. Good pedals are in. We need to get... I wonder why that didn't close. Like... Oh, there it goes. Excellent. Because I want to get the jack underneath it because I'm pretty sure I can do this with just it sitting on the jack. I don't think we have to worry too much. Like, the axle's not hard to get out. <sighs> but... This these this jack's wonky. What I would do, and maybe I'm a little bit weird about my by the way I code things because like I used to be a coder, but I would code it so when you when you put the jack in wherever it contacts, it sticks to the bottom of the car, um, unless aggressively pushed on. Okay, that can go there for a moment. We're gonna need new wheels anyway, so I assume. Let's see here. Oh, these brakes are friggin' shot, bud. Okay, well, well, the lines are broken. All right, let me see. I guess we're doing brake work while we're down here. Um, let's get this. All right, let me see. Ah, uh, wait a minute. We're gonna need a screwdriver. To get the damn disc off. All right, we're oh, here. To, oh, ah, don't run away. Okay, come here. Excellent. Now, someone in the comments once said, "Ooh." They like hearing my stories. I'm going to tell you a funny story that books can corroborate the story. So if anybody wants to question its validity. Um, so my father used to work for a food company. Um, and uh, I'm not going to say which one. But trust me, everybody knows it. Uh, oh, it's an axle. Nice. It's a hub. Five spoke hub right okay anyway and in this place they used to make pumpkin um you know pumpkin in a can like you'd use for pumpkin pie so all the pipes ran on this this catwalk area and would that be under suspension do you think is that where they put that 
Anyways, they ran on this on this thing. These catwalks were relatively solid. This is this is like a bajillion years ago, so bear with me. Um, and is that? Please tell me that's the right one. So he's walking with this guy, another guy who worked there, and they're going, and they hear this hissing noise. Now, when you if you know anything about production of pumpkin, and I happen to oddly, is that they extrude it under extreme pressures, right? And it runs through these pipes like piping hot. So my father's walking along and they hear this hissing and they're like, what is that? And then suddenly one of the pipes just gives up. Like it's just boof. It just gives up. Right. And this wave of pumpkin <laughs> comes flying down the catwalk like a river. And my father threw the one guy on top of the machine beside him. There's a machine. And he ran down this catwalk with this wave of pumpkin after him. And he leapt into the air and caught pipes in the ceiling. Um, so he didn't fall to the ground and all the pumpkin was sprayed everywhere. And it's like, it's like, it's like ridiculously hot. Right. And pumpkin would stick to you. If you know, like if you've ever seen again, pumpkin in a can and, uh, but the pipe my father grabbed was a steam pipe and it was hot. So my father has like no fingerprints. So if you ever wanted to commit a crime, <laughs> that would be, that would be the way to do it. He's, uh, yeah, that's, that's a great story, man. <laughs> it's such a great story. Oh yeah. My father doesn't tell these stories. I always have to hear them secondhand from like, Cause my parents are divorced. Uh, but I always got to hear them secondhand from my, uh, from my mother. And they're always just so funny. Like just, my dad is just, my dad's a really odd individual. Uh, and, uh, it, he's got some of the best stories you've ever heard, <laughs> but yeah, that's the story about my dad. This is, uh, it's part of where my, my weird comes from. I'm sure I got a little bit of my dad's kind of nuts, <laughs> like I'm a little crazy like my dad. Okay. Let me see. Um, yeah, he's a he's an interesting guy. I'll tell you. We don't talk much these days, but he's a very interesting guy. I don't I don't have anything bad to say about him. Ugh. Let me see here. Go in there and then didn't I buy? Oh yeah, I left the cable in there. All right, so put this on like this. Whoop. Eh. Is that why? Why is it not just showing up here? So I can. Oh, there we go. Oh no. And you notice every time I put something in, it shifts a bit. <laughs> it just kind of every time I attach something, detach something, it starts shifting. And then down here, there we go. Okay, now we need a new brake line. Excellent. Okay, put this on the back side of that. I had it. There it goes. Okay, now tighten that down. We got to get the. We better hurry up. We're running out of. Uh... <laughs> it's just sliding around, you psycho thing. Jeez. All right, get on there. Uh. Okay, now as we tighten this down, we may lose the car here. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, excellent. Let's put this back down. We should probably check the other brakes. I thought I did the brakes on this already. I could have sworn, but we might as well check them. Uh... Let's see here. At least we can get the brake lines and stuff on. <sighs> what we're really after today is a gas tank. Whoa. 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 What? what? Oh, what? Geez, it went off. And there we go. Okay. Let's, let's move it under the body of the car. I know this is not a jacking point, but let's just. Uh, let's see if that works. Perfect. Okay. Let me see. I need my wrench, boys. Okay. How's the brakes doing over there? That that actually doesn't look terrible over there. Let me see. Maybe I'm maybe it's just a lighting hand. And off you come. Oh yeah, we got brake pads and a decent brake line. Nice. Okay. On you go. Jack you back down. Jack on. And jack off. Sweet. All right, let me see here. Let's check these brakes. Does it even have brakes? Oh, this has got brakes there. Look at that. Is there, is there, is there pads in that brake? Oh yeah, it looks like there's pads in there too. Nice. We didn't check that back one to see if there's pads in that one. But let's see. Maybe I just missed one brake. Maybe that was the the thing. Pads in there too. All the brake parts look good. <gasps> Wait a minute, is that loose? <gasps> is that loose? <gasps> Wait a minute. Did we not tighten that down there? That looks like that's loose. 
You know, I always miss a few, and then I go back and check them. At the end of every episode, I usually go back and, and check to see. And that's why I always tell people, nope, it's tight. Like when they'll say, like, oh, you missed this thing. It's like, no, I always go back and double check. Let's see here. Okay, so that's good. So why don't we put the... Why don't we get a brake booster and a brake line? Because that's going to be a thing. So there's the main brake line, and there's the master cylinder. Well, I guess not a, Well, I guess it's a booster. It's vacuum assist, right? So bring this over here, and then we'll put the, uh, the booster in. There we go. We also need a steering column, I just realized, too. And this. Now, does that bolt inside or out? I don't remember. I think it's... There's one. There's two. I think it's only two, so I think we're, I think we're good there. Let me see. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're good. Oh, there you go, bud. All right, let's stick this on. Uh, let's, uh... Is this a single master cylinder? Oh, jeez. That is a dangerous game to play. Oh, that needs a, that needs the line there. Perfect there. Yeah, I, I, you know, people always tell me like, "Oh, you say you like old cars, but obviously you don't, because you always want to modernize them." There's certain things, honestly, and I know people like their purists when it comes to these old cars. I'm not. Whatever makes a car safer, kind of thing. Single master cylinders just is not a safe thing. If you've ever if you've ever blown a brake, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is uh, it's terrifying. And when you only got a one chamber master cylinder, oh jeez, <laughs> you you lose your brakes completely. This is with a dual one. You still have brake pressure. God, oh just the thought of it. I actually on my F one fifty, I actually had a, I busted a brake line once, and. uh like I said, thank God for the dual master cylinder. Perfect. Okay, now this thing's got brake lines. It doesn't have any brake fluid, but it's got brake lines. Um, How much money? About 1800 bucks. I feel like we should do... I feel like we should do steering. Maybe. Is that accessories? Is that what that is? Like, do we, wait a minute. Do we still need the steering rack, or is the rack still there? I forget. I can't remember if the rack's still on this thing. I don't see the rack. <sighs> yeah, we better get the rack. <laughs> I don't see it. I can't remember where it is on this car because I've never built it before. So rack, rack, where are you steering rack? Let me see. Let me see. What would that be under? Do you think suspension? What's that? Steering column. Steering box. Oh, Jesus. It's like a box setup and all that crap. Ugh. I don't need my Pitman arm. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Let me see. And we're going to need this. All right, where does this go? I don't remember. It's got to go on the frames. Oh, there it is. Did it have it? I thought I saw it come up with a check. It's got to be over there. Yeah, because like it's going to be on... This side of the car. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I hate these kind of steering setups. Oh, geez, stop. Stop moving. The problem really is, I think, is more that I love the look of old cars, but they're objectively terrible. <laughs> like, it's, there's no getting around how terrible they really are. All right. Pitman arm. Let's see here. Where are you going to go? I don't remember where you go. Shouldn't you go over here somewhere, if I remember? This reminds me of the old uh, 79 F100 my stepfather had uh, this setup. Wait a minute. Let's get... 
this. I can't remember. Oh, God, I can't remember the parts of the steering system. Why can't I remember this right now? Did it go here? Yeah, I'm just having a brain fart here for some reason. You ever do that? You're like, you just completely brain fart on something? Oh, let's see. Tie rods, steering arm. Let's see. We're going to need tie rods. Do we need tie rods on this? I think we do. Oh, my God, dude. Just get in there. Let me see. Maybe we don't need tie rods on these. Oh, no. That's where that bar should go. Shouldn't it? It's not this. This goes on the other side. Dude, stop rolling away, please. Okay, what am I missing? I feel like that should be a tie rod. Okay, okay, okay. We're on the Jesse. Let's see here. Steering column. Everything else should be here. Well, other than the, obviously the steering arm. Or the, the, uh, all right, what am I doing wrong? Oh, why can't I remember now? <laughs> I'm struggling here. I don't know what it is. Um, okay, well, these, I have all the parts. Well, let's throw in the steering column while I think about it. And then, uh, That should help me think about it anyway. That's at least that's what I figure. Okay, now that's gonna go right into the steering. Yeah, that goes right into the steering box. So how does this go in again? I think it just locks underneath here. There it is. And that's locked in. Should I go underneath it maybe and take a look? Maybe that'll give me a better angle. Oh, God. This thing's so easy to push around now. Come on. Okay. I think that's that's good, buddy. All right. Let's open that up. Yeah. All right. Tie rods down here and everything. All right. So... That other, uh, yeah, the steering component needs to be over here, but it needs to be in line with this. So I think it goes here, right? Wouldn't that make sense? Oh, well, let's grab the steering or the pitman arm and then we'll stick that on. No, dude, stop. Stop, stop, stop. we got to get the parking brake on this damn thing. Okay, get over there. All right, perfect. Just close the door here. Ugh. Yeah, right there. I knew it was going in here. I was right. Okay, I just couldn't find the spot. And up we go. Where's my wrench? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Where's my wrench? Oh, God, there's always something, you know. Is it down there? I don't see a wrench down there. Is it under this? No. I oh, God. 
Everybody makes fun of me for losing my wrench, but it really is a problem. What what did I do with the wrench? <laughs> Where could it possibly have gone? Ah, oh, there's one. Okay, there. Perfect. Why is it doing way over there? Okay, let me anyway. I got two of these things just to make my life a bit easier. There we go. That's on. And then this should go on. No problem. So I was right. Eh. And was there a tie rod down here? Excellent. Let me see. Eh. And that. Mm. I'm surprised they didn't let me put the tie rod on on the one side. And where's the tie rod? There we go. There we go. No, 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 no. Thank you. And on and on. Okay. Excellent. Do we hit the wall? No, we didn't. Okay, let's back her up just slightly. Get her back there. Okay, perfect. So what do we need now? We need, well, wires. We need main wiring harness. We need a whole bunch of crap still. So let's see. Um, let's get engine. Let's get a fuel line. We'll put that on. Did I, did I put a shitty tie rod end back on that was just down in the pit? Is that what I did? Oh, I did it again. Okay, let me see. I gotta go double check my tie rods because, yeah, like I may have just put one on that was in the pit that was just crap. <laughs> I don't know. Where'd the fuel line go? <sighs> There it is. I think it only has one bolt that holds it in. But let's go look at those tie rods. Did I put it like a shitty tie rod on that I, I was a broken one or something? No, nah, they're both brand new. I must have just had a good one down there somewhere. And yeah, we need a fuel tank. All right. Let's see. Radiator we're going to need as well. Um, let me see here. Let me see. Fuel tank. Buy that. All right. This, this, These are easy to get in. So this, I think there's like a ton of bolts on this, though. Oh, not this one. Which one was that? What car was it? I think it was my, my one Lincoln. I used a Lincoln LSC. There's about 50 of these things in there. All right. As a Mark 7 LSC. It's basically a giant fox body. <sighs> it was good. All right, let me see. That's in there. That's good. Oh, you're going to need the filler hose, I imagine. Because I don't see one. I don't even see the... Oh, it, it, oh, the filler hose is attached to it. Never mind. So let's... um. What are we going to do? What are we doing here? Okay, radiator maybe? The end just still needs all its wiring, but that's not too hard to do. So let's see. Uh, let's do engine, and let's go get... Where'd it go? There it is. Spark plug wires. Those are easy to toss on. Perfect. And then we're going to need the, the mains wiring or the body harness. See, yeah, there we go. This can go in. Once I find my wrench that I've probably dropped some random location that I forget. Yep. Oh, there it is. Thank you for looking after that. All right. Let me see. That can be tightened. Yoink. Okay. What goes here? Oh, the starter goes there. That's why. I knew I forgot something for the engine. You always do. All right, let me see. 
Tighten that down. That can get tightened down. So that's good. We're going to need a starter. That's, I, I knew I'd forgotten something like that. Let me see. Starter, starter, starter. Where are you, bud? Ignition coil I'm going to need too. Starter, boom. Let's get ignition coil as well. Is this an on block ignition coil or is this a... Oh, wrong side. And boom. Used to have a car once that had a bad uh, bolt on a, on a three bolt starter. And when it would get hot, it would, it would uh, or when it's cold, it wouldn't grip. Like it wouldn't be enough, but you had to heat it up before it works. So sometimes I had to bang it with a hammer to get it to, to go in. Good times. What is that? Well, it's tight. We need a battery, obviously, but where's the coil go? I forget where the coil goes on these. I always like the coil on the body, but... You know, it, 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 oops, wait a minute. There, I saw it. Where'd it go? Myself, because it's less vibration against it, and I know that won't hurt it, but, you know, my mind freaks me out. Okay, there's a coil. All right, excellent. So we're going to need a battery at some point here. Should we get a battery? I think a battery is a, something we could probably do. Let me see. Where did I put the battery? Batter, battery, there it is. This can go in now. Wait a minute. Did the battery tray come out of this? Is there a battery tray? Oh, it's already in. Perfect. Tighten and tighten. Now, this should let me crank it at least. Okay, where, where did it get the fuel from? <laughs> where did it get the fuel from? Okay, you know what? Not my problem. All right, let me see. Um, Where was I? There's something I needed. Oh, it's something. Obviously, I need a parking brake, but it's got a fuel line. It's got a brake line. Coils in. Starter's on, obviously. Oh, radiator. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with me? All right, here we go. Radiator, radiator. Nice. Okay, I'll put this in. <sighs> Got to keep this big girl cool. But with all that extra fuel going through there, it ain't exactly going to be easy on the dang thing. All right, and all right, and then over there, maybe. Where is it here? It's right there, so it should be right about there. Got it? All right, let me see. And then that. Perfect. And then we need a couple of hoses. And, okay, lower hose. Whoa, I just blew right by it, didn't it? Oh, there it is. Upper hose. <laughs> it's like, where did it go? Okay, well, you know what? This is just how I do car repair in video games. When there's no real stakes on the line, I don't really worry about it. Like, that's the thing. People are like, I always missing stuff and doing this. Like, yeah, I don't care. It's a video game. I'm just having fun, man. If it was a real car, I'd be like a lot more, okay, go over this 12 times to make sure I didn't forget something, you know? Everybody forgets something sometimes. Give a guy a break. All right, let me see. Oh, oh no. Perfect. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we're going to need coolant, obviously. So we might as well do that while we're thinking about it. You stay down there and we'll go get some coolant. I think we need, wait a minute. Well, I'm just checking here. Do we need, we're going to need engine oil, right? Like, where's the dipstick on this? Oh, the dipstick is the one behind the, the camera. Tee hee hee. Okay, let me see. Um, Holy vey, where's the, where's the dipstick? Ah, there it is. Yeah, might not want to run that too long without engine oil in it. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get some coolant, some engine oil, brake fluid. We need all the things. You know how it is. So we need, okay, this is uh, brake fluid, yoink, and then coolant. And I think we need two engine oils to fill it up. So let's, what? 
I thought about the where the coolant go. Oh, it fell on the floor. There it is. Okay, dude. Because we already got the coolant thing open, we might as well go do it first. All right. At least we didn't run it very long without any oil in it. That uh, that'll wreck an engine real quick. All right. Let me see. I'm just trying to figure out where the. Oh no! Is this is this too low? There we go. I'm trying to figure out where the gas came from. Does it just come pre-gassed? Okay. Oh, oh, let go of the mouse. There we go. Oh, perfect. Hambro coolant. It's pink, eh? I, jeez. I, I think GM cars use pink coolant. Some of them do, or at least they used to. This takes so long. Yeah. I used to buy the stuff you had to mix, eh? And that was just a pain in the butt. Used to have a dedicated five gallon pail just for that. All right, let me see. Drop you. And you can go in, you know. Okay, so then we're going to get the engine oil next, I guess. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'll get the brake fluid because it's easier. We'll do that because we got to come back twice for this unless we bring the box. We can always bring the box, I guess. I think the car also needs gear shift still, too. <laughs> Which is probably something we should worry about. All right, let me see. I'm going to go and then pick you up. And then that's not going to work. Oh, no. Going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. High port. Oh, there it goes. It's a very forgiving pouring system. I will say that. All right. Drop you down here for a second. Thank you. Perfect. Now we got that. With the thing. You know what else? I'm glad they don't make you bleed the brakes. I hate bleeding brakes. Okay, let me see. I don't even know if those gauges work, honestly. We also need a steering wheel. Grab the box. I think we can put the oil in the box, maybe. And if it even works, it never works for me. All right. We also need a tailgate still, but uh, we're just about at the point <clears throat> where we should be able to uh, drive it. Seat, steering wheel, probably put a park and brake and park and brake cable in it. All right. And where's the oil cap? There we go. And this can go down here. Bloop. Pull you out. Uh, pick you up. Oof. And Bob's your uncle. There we go. What is this? Uh, is this a five weight or a 50? Some men just take a zero weight oil nowadays. Like, how weird is that? I never thought I'd see that day where a production engine would have a zero weight oil in it. There we go. This should fix that problem. Oil problem. Not having any. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Just go in there already. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Um, where was I going? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where's the cap? Oil cap. In you go. <sighs> we also don't have an exhaust on, which we should probably put on because it's going to be ex exceedingly loud. But let's see here now. Where was I? Okay, where are you? What am I doing? Steering wheel. Steering wheel. Gear shift. Ooh. Don't want a pistol grip. No, I don't like pistol grip shifters. Just give me a stock one. You know what? I'll get a I'll get a pistol grip because people get mad if I don't. All right, so there's that, that. And then what else did I need? We have the parking brake. We again we don't know if the um gauges work. So this we're in uh, uncharted territory right now. There we go. And that should require me to bolt that down.
perfect. And gear shift pistol. I don't. I never liked these. I. They're fine for the down pull on the. What the. What the? Wait a minute. What? Oh, okay. Jesus, like, why isn't this going in? And that goes down. Excellent. We need a seat. Let's see. Interior. Uh, seat front left. Wow, we need at least one seat, I guess. We, we should probably have more than one, but we do not. Door panels need redoing, but for now. Eh. Oh, I did it again. Where did I put the wrench? There it is. <laughs> Shut up. I don't want to hear anything about it. Oh, no. And, oh, no, this is not going to be nice. There, got it. All right, so there's that. Close this up for a second. So what are we missing? Parking brake. That's what I want to do. Parking brake as well, just in case the brakes fail on me right out the door. So brakes, park, handbrake cable. There it is. I believe I put, oh no. Oh, geez, I thought I screwed that up. All right. It should attach... Oh, apparently like that. All right, let me see. Now, where does this supposed parking brake do its business? There's one. There's one. Oh, it just goes to here and it goes through the body. All right, no problem. All right, so. That. We don't have any headlights. It's the middle of the night. We should probably get it to daytime. Did I miss anything? Radiator's full. Engine oil's in. What goes through that hole? Oh, that's the wiper motor, right? Yeah, okay, so we're not worried about that right now, but let's uh, go to daytime. We'll see if we can get her out uh, to the gas station there and put a little fuel in her. Okay, what, what time is it now? Oh, no, it's the middle of the night. In the, if you ever had a car project, you know what it's like working into the middle of the night. Okay, <laughs> it is a whole thing. We have driver's side gas ingress, so eh. let's, um, oh, I'll have the key on. Let me see. There we go. We have reverse. Brakes work. At least they do for the moment. All right. Do any of these gauges work? Okay, yeah, it looks like the speedometer's working. Oh, yeah, enter. This is not... Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Hopefully that works. Now, God damn it! I just said it was the driver's side, you moron. Okay, jeez and crackers. Uh, I just said it. I just said it. Can I reach this? Because I, I really don't want to have to deal with this. You stupid mother... <sighs> just a moron i'm just a big fat idiot <laughs> like, 
Come on, goat, you know better than this. What am I on? Oh, I'm on the curb, aren't I? Struggling for it to move here. Whoa! Okay, what happened? What happened? Stop. What? What happened? Did I lose a tire or something? Oh, that was still on. I thought it was off. Jeez. I thought it was down further when it was off. Let me see here. I think we may be a little far away, but let's just see if this were What the hell? Okay. Can I, can I at least put fuel in you now? There we go. We're filling her up. I don't think we need a ton of fuel. I thought the parking... I could have sworn I turned the parking brake off. Now, these tires are shot, so we're going to need new tires. New wheels, probably, too. I think we're done there. Okay, there we go. And we'll pay for that. That's 48 bucks for that. Okay. Grab this banana and coffee. Nice little morning potassium. Let's go damage this car. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, can't get in it. Can't. Why would you? What, dude. What the? I blew the whole tire. How did I do that? Must have been on its last legs, or is it because I hit the curb, maybe? Oh, driving with the parking brake. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not sure how big these tires are, though. All right, let me go check. Jesus. What? What have I done? What What? What happened here? Like, what? What? okay. The whole tire just blew out. It's a sad day. <laughs> it's a very sad day. I got 200 bucks. Where am I going to get a tire, man? Now, these tires only come in one size, if I remember correctly. These ones here are the ones I have. They are 15 inch. Right? And they only come in that size? So let's get a 15 inch, re uh, 15 inch regular tire. High wall, regular, low profile. I'm going to get a, I think it's, why can't I buy this? Oh, okay. <laughs> the rim is $200, but I already own the rim. We're just going to have to change out the tire. Uh, we're going to pull the old, <laughs> what? oh, geez, that lasted all of 10 seconds. Good times. Over the wall. No, it never works. I always hope it's going to work, and it never works. Okay, let's get this right here. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Got to go put, put this back over. Dude, this is a regular tire. These may be high wall tires. I have no idea, but we're going to need the jack. Yeah. <sighs> You know, some things you just don't expect to have happen, and this is one of them. Uh, 
There we go. Let's uh let's get that tire off. All right, let me see. And off we go. Yeah, these these were not I guess you know, I don't think I've even seen these tires in the game, so what if they're like one of those oh this is just an old tire? Because they are not the same as that. Oh, these are a high wall. Well, whoop de poop. Oh, where's my pump? There it is. Perfect. Okay. This is a standard wall tire. That is a high wall tire on there. You know, it might look better with high wall tires, I bet you. Yeah, it's definitely going to look better with high wall tires, but this is what we got right now. There we go. Drop this down. Looks like that could use a bit more air, but at least... At least we can get it back to the shop, even if it is the wrong tire. We can go buy another high wall tire. But yeah, it runs. Even if it is a little bit off. <laughs> okay. Do we want to do those lower profile tires? I don't know. Uh, it sound off in the comments. Tell me what you think. But let's get this back to the garage and then we'll end this episode. Then we can uh, fix it up later. <sighs> All right, this off, please. This is off now? Okay, excellent. And. Is it, please tell me this is off. Yeah. Okay. It does not roll very well. Look at that. Like, it just suddenly stops like that. Look at that. It's like the brakes are on or something. Okay, again. The, bra the parking brake was on again. What the hell? I keep clicking on it and it doesn't come off. Okay, you know what? I'm over this. I'm, I'm leaving this game alone. Ooh, ooh, very close to the wall. But yeah. Um... It went well, other than that parking brake thing that doesn't seem to want to function for me when I hit the button. I think I need a bit more air in that tire. Okay, this, this does look a bit small, these tires, but well, it looks like it's filled. So anyway, yes, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe, maybe get your friends to subscribe. Maybe get your dog, I'm so close, get your dog to subscribe. If you didn't like this well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber, because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get, scapegoat gonna get rid of this hood because we no longer need it and we can use that to buy three more tires next episode out